I have 410,000 followers on Instagram, 90,000 followers on Twitter, and 20,000 paid followers on my OnlyFans. My number one fan has spent about 15 grand. He's bought me a sex toy before. I'm one of 300 people in the entire world to have made over a million on OnlyFans. My best month was $120,000. supernatural. Hi, I'm Lauren Elizabeth, and I'm one of the top OnlyFans creators in the world. My feet cannot be on this. If you come to my page, you can expect to have lots of naked content and an internet girlfriend experience. I think I've got a really unique figure. I've got really big boobs and a small waist and a big bum and I think that makes me different from other girls I'm also really attentive in chats What kind of request would come through for you to do a little video? Yeah, do a video in a bikini, take it off, say my name, that kind of thing Welcome to my kitchen I just absolutely love kitchens It was a complete dream for me to be able to do it in my kitchen Was this like a big purchase for you as well? Not really. I, I don't really buy cars all the time, but it really made sense just to have it. I absolutely love this table. We're going to have an annex and gym at the end of the garden and then redo the garden. We actually got a um, Japanese toilet. This is my bikini collection. I got the Peloton bike and the tread and I am obsessed. I think one of the biggest shocks was how much it actually cost to do up a house. How much have you spent so far? I don't want to know, but definitely over a hundred thousand. <laughs> I really don't want to know. I think the craziest thing about performance is you kind of assume that you'll get better and better and better. And it can be quite hard not to compare yourself to other girls. I am promoting looking perfect, but I just want to scream like, I'm not perfect, no one's perfect. We all have good angles, we all look shit sometimes. It annoys me that my narrative is, hi everyone, I'm perfect. And I don't learn this, I don't wanna be like that, I just wanna be normal. Oh God, they're all really embarrassing. I'm not showing any of my braces on. When I was a kid, I didn't really tell my parents about things that were going on at school. I didn't really want to trouble them with it. No boys fancied 16-year-old Lauren. 16-year-old Lauren wasn't very popular, had never had a boyfriend, and some very nasty girls made rumours up that I had done very sexual acts. And I remember coming into school and wanting to cry. When you're 16, everybody just wants to fit in and follow the crowd so that people can not have a reason to be nasty to you. Then you grow up and you realise that you just want to be yourself. I think when I was younger at school and girls used to stare at me and judge me, I used to deliberately wear a tight top just so I could prove a point that I had a nice body. It was like a defence mechanism. What's the like, average fan request? Please can you make a sex tape? I remember once I went to the pub where I used to live and I had boys that were much older than me saying my name and obviously because they had seen my content and I found that incredibly intimidating and horrible and I remember feeling like I was about to burst into tears, it was horrible. I still remember it because it wasn't very nice and that's the reason why I don't live there anymore. I guess I was at a point where I probably wasn't like owning the job as much as I feel now. <laughs> I think there is always a temptation to go further but if I didn't have my boundaries, I probably wouldn't be very sane. So I just have to be really strict with myself and understand that that's just not what I'm here to do. When I made 120,000 in a month, it felt incredible. And I felt so grateful to have been able to make that in a month. 
makes it worth it. I would say I'm a businesswoman. Like, I'm really thinking about my future with every day that passes. I'm thinking, this is Monopoly. How can I invest my money? What smart decisions can I make now that will benefit me later? This in England is quite unique. I'm gonna be a housewife. I'm gonna be a mommy one day. And I am not going to need to work. And I'm gonna wake up in the morning and exercise, go on walks, and I'll know I finally made it and everything I did was worth it.